Ashley King here and welcome back to my channel. In this video of my Follow Me series, I'm taking you guys to Ponta di Trevi, aka the Trevi Fountain. I know many of you can't travel right now, so I thought it would be a wonderful time to take you back. If you've already been to Rome, you know, you can reminisce a bit. Um, and if not, I can take you along. So it's like you've already been there. <laughs> but anyway, follow me along the streets. I'm just walking here. It's a beautiful day um, in Rome. And also say a few fast facts while I'm there. Let's go. One of them being the Lizzie McGuire movie from back in 2003 where Gordo and Lizzie make a wish and toss a coin in the fountain. The first time I visited Rome, um, the Trevi Fountain was completely closed and you could only throw a coin in this sad plastic box. If I have a video of it, I'll put it um, here for you guys, but it was absolutely absurd. I was like, I cannot believe the first time I'm in Rome, I'm throwing a coin into a plastic box. Considering the circumstances with all the closures due to the pandemic, the crowd is a little less than usual. So, before we get into these fun facts, I just want to put a disclaimer. I am not a historian. I'm a curious engineer. Construction started in 1732 and was designed by architect Nicola Salvi. It is about 50 meters wide and 26 meters tall and is primarily composed of travertine stone. As you can see, it's really white, it reflects the light really well. So there are a few theories behind the name. Now the Trevi Fountain is located at the junction of three streets, which is the major terminal point of one of the aqueducts that supplies water to ancient Rome. The area around the fountain used to be called Trevia, and there's no secret that the ancient Romans were actually very skilled engineers. And the terminal point delivers drinking water to the city of Rome. So it became one of the most important aqueducts for the city. It pours more than 79 million cubic liters of water per day. And I wanted to convert that to cubic feet for you guys because obviously I'm not a metric expert. That's 2.8 million cubic feet per day of water. Legend has it that with the coin throwing technique, if you actually toss one in the Trevi Fountain, you will be coming back to Rome. I can only speak for myself because it did work for me. So the technique though is you have to use your right hand over your left shoulder. That's how it works. So the main figure is actually Neptune, god of the sea, which you can see him here in the center. And you can see that he is riding a chariot with two seahorses. I hope this gave you guys a bit of insight into the Trevi Fountain. And if you didn't know something, I hope I taught you something. But now I will take you guys with a few shots around the Trevi Fountain. So you can see the Trevi Fountain from all different angles and basically have the experience of visiting the Trevi Fountain like you were here in Rome. I haven't been here in so long and now that I realize I have the whole fountain to myself it makes me kind of sad because I realize that there's really not that many people here I guess it really didn't hit me beforehand but you could never even step two feet around this Trevi fountain before the pandemic and now it's like I am here all by myself me and the birds look Me, the birds, and one, two, three, four, five, five people over there, and a few people over here. So maybe 10 people total. It's crazy. It is like my own private VIP tour of the city, but it still kind of makes me sad that the tourism is non-existent these days.
visit at the Trevi Fountain. Sorry, it's so loud here. I'm in Piazza Venezia, and now I'm gonna head back home. But I just wanted to thank you all for joining me. Uh I just want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, y'all.